Sorry guys, uh, we had to meet Allah from time to time, and it was good. Man, now we are ready again. Oh boy. You have to meet Allah from time to time. I mean, I don't like to go there, but you know, <laughs> things happen. <laughs> And by the way, the prophet, he said, after you go to the bathroom, you have to shake your penis three times. I did not count, really. Huh. I should go again. This time I have to record it. Like to remember. <laughs> Excuse my language. <laughs> what a stupid prophet. You know, there's a guy. He said to a Muslim in the time of Muhammad, he said, look like your prophet, he teach you everything, including how to do poo-poo. I mean, how like do stupid things. The guy, he says, yes, the prophet, he said to us, he taught us even how to do, excuse my language, how to do shit. Can you believe it? The hate in front of you. The word shit is in the front of your eyes. Here we go. You see it? You can ask any Muslim who speak Arabic. Does it say that? It's not like, you know, to go to the bathroom, no. al khara which is literally the word shit. This is Islam. And this is why someone like this guy ultimate fort he's trying to hide from the hadith because the hadith is an embarrassment you know if muhammad was saying some, some something smart do you think this guy he would say i'm not uh, believing in it no he will love it he will use it everywhere are you there yeah i am there what about you no i'm here you are there Yes. Hello, Mister. I wanted to ask you the question about the fever. You're the princess, about, and I wanted to marry you. About who? I wanted to marry the princess called the Christian. Oh, you want to marry her? Are you a gay? No, no. I wanted to marry the princess called the Christian princess, are you, are and you, you are the are Christian you? prince. Okay. So you are a homosexual, and you are asking for my hand. Amazing Muslim. Well, I'm not really surprised. Once upon the time, there's a guy, he came to the Caliphate Uthman. And he said to him that there is a leader of Imam, a leader of prayer. He is leading the prayer. And we are afraid that he is causing us temptation, fitna. So the, 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 the Caliphate, he said, what's wrong with that? Pray behind him and do the good deeds he's doing. Then the guy, he said, well, in our opinion, we should not pray behind a muhannath, a feminine man. And the funny, his name is Uthman. Look, the sheikh, sorry, the caliphate, his name is Uthman, who is promoting praying behind the homosexual. I went to Uthman ibn Affan, while he was be signed, which means he's the caliphate now. And I said to him, you are the chief of the old Muslims in general, and you see what uh, uh, be fallen to you. We are led the Salat, which means the Imam, by a leader of Al-Fit, Al-Fitan, temptation. How he tempt them? Trial and affliction. Like what the heck, what he's doing? And we are afraid of being sinful. This Abdul, he is afraid now he will commit sin. Why? Because this guy is leading the prayer, okay? In following him, Uthman, he said, As-salatu, which means the prayer. You see the Muslim, they say that when Allah, he says, Sallallahu ala Muhammad, they say the word Salat does not mean prayer, it means blessing. Here we go, it's in front of you. As-salat means to pray. The prayer is the best of all deeds. So when the people do the good deeds, do the same with them. And when 
they do bad deeds avoid those bad deeds as Zuhuri said and he is very important companion of Muhammad he was a very nice homosexual he said in our opinion one should not offer salat behind a feminine person unless there is no alternative this is what happened to you my friend you are in love you are one of them you're gonna ask for my hand life on air I'm not surprised but look what happened this guy he exposed all those who pray behind this gay why because he's saying that he we are afraid this guy he is causing a trial this person is in trial like why because a gay he bent over in front of him affliction the guy the gay he bent over the guy have affliction <laughs> that's mean all of them they are gays <laughs> because why you are getting tempted if a man he is a gay he bent over in front of you unless you are a gay too do you see the stupidity he did not say this guy should not be leading us he said he said he is we are tempted how you can be tempted by a guy and now this Abdul he called me to ask for my hand life on air coward son of Muta. He's insulting someone in the chat. Uh, okay, maybe. Anyway, he's stupid, whatever he is. But we, we know it's good always to remember to remind people about uh, what the Muslims believe. You know, this is Islam. And in order to marry, my friend, you are a Muslim. You should find six years old, mature girl. Uh, oh, okay. Let us see. This is the rocks. The Rax last time I spoke to her, I hang up on her, as usual, this is stupid things. Sometimes I lose patience, sometimes I have more patience. <clears throat> yes, uh, lady, how are you doing? I'm good, sir, how are you? I'm alright, what do you want to say to us? Um, so, judging by the title of your video, it seems like you're stuck on the whole Adam and Angels business, so I just wanted to clear I, that I, up I, I did not mention anything about Adam since I started. Um, no, no, but the title of your video is like Allah said. I, I mean, I didn't watch the whole live stream, so okay. I might be wrong, but okay. you're saying, uh, I know what you know not, so I'm okay. guessing that's a reference. Well, Allah, he said that all over the Quran, you know. Right, but let's address that one because okay, you know Allah, we discussed about Allah, it and okay, then okay, you hung Allah, up. On do Allah know what we know not? Go ahead. Well, yeah, let's let's talk in terms of the verse that, right, um, go ahead. chapter two, verse thirty to thirty-four. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's go. Let's go through the verses one by one because it's it's not really that complicated, right? Like hmm. verse thirty, Allah is telling. Uh, the angels that he's gonna place Adam as his Khalifa and he's gonna um, put him on earth in okay. charge, right? Okay. And then the angels say to him that they're gonna, why would you put him in, in place? Because, you know, he's gonna place, he's gonna put mischief and uh, shed blood. Okay. But then he says to them, I know that which you do not know, right? Okay. But he's not disagreeing with them. Can, he's not. can you agree with me on that one? No, he's not. No, he's disagreeing about the nature of Adam. No, he disagreeing. No, no, he's not. Dis no, listen, he's hmm. not disagreeing. I know more about the nature you, uh, of you, Adam. When you move your microphone, we lose your voice. Don't move your microphone. I don't hear you now. Can you hear me now? Okay, now I hear you. Okay, so I'm saying when he say when when Allah says, hmm. "I know that which you do not know," he's hmm. not disagreeing with them about the nature of Adam that he's gonna cause mischief and shed blood hmm. he's saying that he knows more about the nature of adam hmm. than the one they already happen to know hmm. are you done right so, so there's no so there's no contradiction no. here i no, just want no. you to know because no Allah you see, not... okay read the verse with me read the verse with me then allah okay, he taught adam when allah he taught adam all the names 
and then no, no let's not go there we're still at verse 30 let's no let's because we have to this. connect them together we have to connect them yeah we'll connect them we'll connect yeah. them but verse 30 i'm talking about this verse where he talks okay. to adam okay, when he right. talks to the angel okay so continue. he didn't disagree with them can you can you can you agree with me that allah did not disagree with them about the nature of adam that they're going to cause mischief and shed blood hmm. he just said that he knows more about the nature of adam than they do so, so what, there's no okay so so what what is a problem then if he uh, if he allah he agree what is a problem why are you saying i know more than what you know what is because the they are they are contesting his decision to please him as a as the caliph on earth right okay, like hold, he's okay okay hold on hold on okay hold on so his decision is to place somebody in the earth and they said to him he would do a so yes did allah he say Okay, hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. You see, we're going to talk, you know, I almost time you do the same to me. And then I hang up on you. So, I'll be quiet. Okay. So, when uh, uh, when Allah, he have an opposition of his decision. The angel, mm -hmm. his opposition is what? It's not about Adam as a creation, as what he, it's about what he will do, correct? It's opposition to Allah's decision to place Adam as his Khalifa. That's that's the opposition. Okay. So guys, be my witness. They're giving him a reason. They're giving him a reason why why he shouldn't. Okay. I want I want everybody to remember what she just said. She said that okay. they are opposing Allah decision. Correct. Well, is they're not opposing as uh, it's like a conversation between Allah, between no, Allah. Say, you are the one who used the word opposition. Well, a second and idea. not opposition. They're just presenting him with an idea that. It, why are you placing him? Like they're asking him a question. Okay. Like why would you place they, him one week? But, in the, but at the same time, okay, in the same you? time, they are making accusation to Adam that he would do this, correct? We lost you again. Your mic, don't move your microphone. Adam has the nature of causing mischief and shedding blood. Yes. Okay. So what, Allah what, Allah, what Allah he said, as he said, I know what you know not, yes. which means what yes. they said, what they said is not true, right? Yeah, no, 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 that's not it. That's what I'm trying to get across. Hmm. Like, he didn't disagree with them about the nature of Adam, hmm. that they, that he's going to cause mischief and blood, okay. this bloodshed. Is why, this is why you are refusing me to read the second verse, because the second verse, Allah, he said to them, tell me Just the like names of those things, tell me the names of these, these, if you are truthful, but let's no no before we move on to that uh, verse why you don't 30, want me to why you want to stay in that verse for the coming century why you want to why you want to stay there we did read it already and we are done okay so now let us see when allah when he said okay hold on when allah he said to them if you are truthful what is allah accusing them of when he said if you are truthful all right so i'll go to that verse but but at verse 30 we have agreed now that no, we did uh, not Allah, agree. No, we did not, not agree. I said to you, Allah did, no, I did not agree. Allah don't make things up. You see, you are talking to me and you are changing my words without even we hang up. So don't say we agree. We did not agree. We agree that Allah, he is saying to them, I know not what you know, which means he refused what they say. And the proof is here. He said to them, he, he taught Adam the names and he said, okay, Adam, this is donkey. This is potato. This is tomato. And then Allah, he placed those things in the front of, him, of, of the angels. And he said, okay, you claim that you have knowledge. Now, tell me the names of those things, if you are truthful. He did not say if you know. He did not say uh, if, you, if you are right. He say if you okay. are truthful. Okay, sir, I heard you out. Can, mm. can you let me finish my thoughts? Sure, go ahead. Like, all right, cool. So, uh, verse 30, what I understand here is that Allah is not disagreeing with them about the nature of Adam, that he's going to cause mischief and bloodshed. He's just telling them that he knows more about the nature of Adam than mm. they do. And that's why he's going to still place him, despite this nature of him, of mm. causing mischief and bloodshed, mm. he's still going to place him as his own okay. as his own Khalifa on earth. Mm. That's, that's what he's saying there. And then verse 31, in order to drive home the, the, the fact that the angels don't have the knowledge that he has, mm. he... We lost to don't move your microphone and then he asks the angel if you have knowledge of something that you have you have not yet seen or heard like he does right because mm. allah is all-knowing he's all-knowing he uh is omniscient so he's trying to prove to them that he knows more than they do about things so he goes and teaches them the names of things mm. he teaches uh, adam the names of uh, things mm. and then he asks the angel do you have knowledge of this 
Okay. Are you, so you are stuck on this whole if you're truthful thing. But like I said, Allah is the ultimate. And when he talks about truth, truth is the truth he's talking about here is the absolute truth, the truth of of everything, of knowing everything. It's hmm. not just about like okay, are you done? lying. Are you done? No, no, I'm not done. I'm not done. And no. then at verse 32, you'll see that angels now have learned their lesson. They mm. say to him, glory be to you. We have no knowledge except that which you've taught us. Okay. Verily, it's you, the all knower, the all wise. Okay. So here you and? see that the angels now have learned their lesson that they do not know everything that Allah knows okay. and that Allah knows more than they do about the nature of Adam. Okay. So there is no disagreement between Allah and the angels about the nature of Adam. He, Allah just happens to know more about uh, Adam's nature than the angels do. Okay, wonderful. Adam. So okay. do, you, do you believe that the Quran is speaking a clear Arabic or a stupid Arabic? I mean, I don't speak Arabic. I, I will trust. I, I know, I know. But I'm saying, don't you Muslims say the Quran, Allah, he used a very amazing, clear Arabic, good Arabic? Yes. Okay. Don't you think that Allah then, he used the wrong word? If you want to prove to them that he have more knowledge, he should not say yeah. if you are truthful. Because if I say no, to you, hold on, I'm let me sorry. talk. If I say to you, oh. okay, the racks, if you are truthful, give me the proof. That's mean I'm accusing you to be a liar unless you give me the proof correct otherwise i will not say if you are truthful if you are truthful i say if you are truthful you can mm -hmm. do the following what is the following you tell me the names of those things so if the angels were truthful about what they said then there's no need for all of this to say if you are truthful and there's no point of this stupid thing anyway uh, I, I, I will I will show you an example. Uh, uh, do you see my screen? Uh, wait one second. I need to I need to go back to you. Okay. Okay, I can see your screen now. Okay, now I will put something for you in the screen, and I'm going to prove to you that I am knowledgeable more than Allah. I want you to watch <laughs> okay. with me. Okay. Because I will use the same logic Allah he use. Okay. Are you are you gonna go off topic? Oh, hold on. No, we are not going off topic. We are not. Yeah, don't, don't 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 do this. You see that you you must have you forced me to hang up on you. I listen to you and then you keep talking, talking, saying nothing. You just said something. Let me show you okay. how silly Sorry. Sorry. what Sorry. you are saying. Okay, hold on. So now uh Give me a second. Okay. Oh, hold on. Okay. I hope that whatever you're going to show me is related to this topic, though. Sure, Just... absolutely. It's stuck with the topic. Trust me. It is very I... much with the topic. You will see in a second. Okay, okay. hold on. I don't know what happened to this website. Oh, and the, and the hold, prostration. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I'll get into that. But okay. the last time when you hung up on okay. me, you, okay. you said... I, I, okay, you look at the screen, look at the screen. I uh, It takes time to, lock, to load on the screen, one sec. Okay. Hmm. What do you see in the screen? I just see stars. There's nothing on your screen. Okay, maybe you need time to see it. Maybe it's taking time for you. I see a cat now. <laughs> okay, what is the name of my cat? How should I know? I don't know. Okay, what is the name of my butterfly? You're misunderstood. Sorry, no, okay. no, no. So I now, hold on. So now I know. So now I know. Hold on. So now I know what you know not. Well, and that no, make me not. and that make me God. So your city God, your city God. He gave a name for this cat. He he called this cat Susu, and then he you called. Hold on, hold on. Just you see how silly you what you said. And then he called the butterfly Tutu, and then he said yeah. to the angels, "Okay, what is the name of my cat?" They said we do not know. He said, "What the name of yes, my butterfly?" I said, "We do not know. We know only. Hold I, on, hold I, on. I, I listen to you. Listen to me. I, 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 oh, I, don't force me to hang up on you." Sorry, so, go ahead. He, they could not tell the names which he named, 
I mean, how in the world that will make him know the future? He gave names to object, and then he asked them to tell him the names which he made. How stupid is that? So now I, I called my cat Susu. I said to you, do you know the name of my cat? You said, no. How I would know Can that? I so now that's mean I am God and you are a bad angel and you have okay, no I... idea and you need to repent to me. Now, now let's continue. Okay. We're not done. We're not done. Yeah, so, continue. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me. You don't, you see, you're just it's a conversation. Like, uh, hold on. Hold on. So now, after Allah, he asked them about the cat and the rat and they do not know their names. Allah, he proved to them but, that he but, is knowledgeable. But you, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. You, you want to talk? You want to talk? You want me to talk? Who I want to talk now? Can I talk? Okay, go ahead. All right, so you're misunderstanding that the verse. You're talking about verse 31 when he names, uh, when he teaches Adam all the names and he asks the angel. Hmm. He's not trying to prove to them that he knows everything. What he's trying to prove to them that they don't know the things that they have not yet heard or seen or knowledge that he's not yet given to them. Okay. That's what he's trying to prove to them. So he's trying to prove to the angels that they have no knowledge except that which he's taught them. Hmm. That's basically what the what verse is saying. What is the title of my video? Allah what is the, what, what is the title? Trying, what is the title of my video today? What is the title of my What is the title of my video today? I know what you know not. Okay. So yeah. this is the point so, of this of this naming. So he want to show them that he know. More than what they know. No, he wants to show them they, they don't know. Exactly. That which is so he knows them. more. Know he knows that. more. Okay, he knows but more he than knows. them. What he knows more? He knows Susu. You are you are misunderstanding that. How the, we are uh, misunderstanding? He it says he taught he said he said he taught Adam the names. And then he said to the sir. angels, Okay, tell me the names of those things. This is okay. not about the future. It's not about Jim the future. He, 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 uh, uh, listen, listen. You see, I don't know how old are you, but you oh. are not. You are not being. Uh, how old are you? Why? Why does it matter? Uh, because Each... I don't want. I don't want to talk to a kid. I want to be sure that you are adult. Are you Are you Are you adult? Are you adult? Or you are just yes, teenage? I'm, adult. I'm in college. I'm an adult. Yes. Okay. Good. So when Allah He said to them, "I know what you know not," He was talking about which knowledge He know they don't know. Is that the name of the cat? What? Sorry. When Allah He said to them after He placed the, uh, the 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 items in front of them, the cat and the rat and the dog, and He asked them for the names of those cats, and they could not answer. What Allah uh -huh. He proved there by saying, "I know what you know okay. not." He proved that He knew the name of the cats. Correct. He proved that He knew the names of the cats. Correct. No, He's proving to them that they don't have knowledge other than that which he's taught them the same way that he taught Adam the names okay. of the animals okay. he needs to teach them before they know the names okay. so that's basically what he's trying to prove right. to them like so okay I, 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 I will go sorry. with you so they don't have every knowledge have they don't have knowledge yeah. do Allah have knowledge of course yes. okay so if Allah has knowledge yes. why he said to them if you are truthful uh what do you mean like what do you mean what do you mean the verse says if you are truthful when he used yeah, the word truthful stuck on that, we're stuck on that sir look if you're truthful we, we have mean, to like, we have to explain it because he did not say if you know he said if you are if you are truthful what the opposite of truthful yeah okay let me explain it then hmm. So here, like I said, when Allah is talking about truth here, he's he's the ultimate. So when Allah speaks of truth, false, he's, yeah. he's talking about the absolute truth. So truth of uh, What does that have everything. to do with my topic? Why he said to them, if you are truthful, we're talking about them, 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 forget about Allah now. Allah yeah, said to them. The angels, the angels placed the question on him when he made the decision. To okay, put Adam so is there a question truthful or not? Is the question was it truthful or it was a false accusation? They didn't make a false accusation, like so I said. So why he is saying he, to them, if you are truthful, so why he is using, if it is not false, listen, if it's not false, why he is saying to them, if you are truthful? Yes, he, you have to understand this in, in the context of what's happening in these I few understand verses. the context. How come you don't see it? He said to them, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful, which means if they cannot tell the names, 
Be okay, on, why are you, you know what? I can use a different translation that says if you're rightful. There are other translations too. Like if we're we going to get stuck. We don't care about translation. I speak on... Arabic. Arabic is my first language. Okay. Sadiqin. Okay. We can take the word Sadiqin and search it all over the internet. Or you can go to the, uh, the dictionary. Sadiqin means actually, truthful. Sadiqin, Sadiqin means truthful. As simple as that. And I challenge any Muslim to say it's not true. Okay, sorry. Like it doesn't matter. What, it, what no, it does matter. Is it you Muslim? Yeah, you call Abu Bakr Sadiq. Abu Bakr Sadiq. Abu Bakr Sadiq. Abu Bakr the truthful. So don't make things up. So don't 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 don't, don't go and say there's other translations, because it doesn't matter what translation you use. Yeah, okay, fine. Says, I will take your translation. I will okay, take it. Okay, what no, translation you accept? What translation you accept? I don't care. You can use whatever, like whatever. Okay, I'm using whatever. Here we go. This is your Muslim website. It says, if you are truthful, so if they cannot tell the names, they are not truthful. So Allah put a condition. If you are truthful, tell me the names. And what happened? They could not tell the names. So now Allah got them busted. You are not truthful because you did not, because you could not tell me the name of my cat. I don't know how else to, to explain. I thought I did a good job of explaining Oh, you thought? This. Oh, okay. Well, to be honest, he, like, uh, no, I don't, I don't know what to say. I, so he, cute, said, like he said, he said, tell me the okay, names. Listen, listen, lady, okay, you are just repeating yourself. It. Tell me the names if you are what? If you are truthful. So, if okay. they are truthful, okay. they can tell the names. What kind of truth is Allah speaking about? In this verse, what kind of truth is he speaking about? Doesn't if matter, you just go a little yeah, bit yeah, more listen, and... Lady, with the, the, if you, if you the, 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 the subject can you change. Will see that it's the about subject knowledge. of the truth can about, change. Allah, He said, if you are truthful, whatever the, the, the debate is about. Yes, so is when somebody, truth, okay, if I say, if one. I say, if I say to somebody, okay, you you claim something, will tell me then what happened if you are truthful, and then they could not. They said to him, we do not know except what you taught us. So they fail. They could not tell the names. So that means they are yeah, not so, truthful. So this proves to them that the knowledge they have only comes from Allah. That's basically what the point of this exercise okay. was. Did Allah tell, did, did Allah, did Allah Allah tell them? Did Allah tell them that He will do? He will create Adam who would do mischief. Man. Did Allah told them that? Um, actually, yes. Where? There is. Um, I can send you a link. No, don't tell me a link. A, Show me a reference. There is a narration. There's a narration uh, in the Tafsir of At-Tabari where uh, one of the Sahaba says, Allah may be, may he be exalted, said to the angels, I want to create a creature on earth okay. and make him a vicergent. Okay. On that day, Allah had no creation except the angels okay. and there were no creatures on earth. Oh, no, no. And who is, so, who, is, who is saying that? Is that Allah or Muhammad? Who is saying that? It's narrated from one of the Sahaba. Okay. okay, so in the Quran, there's nowhere it says so, Allah. Yeah, okay, Quran, so, so like, where, where the guy from the Sahaba he learned this from? Likely from the Prophet, peace okay. be upon him. Where we can yes. find the hadith of the Prophet saying that? Well, the, the current reference I have is in the tafsir of At Tabri, like I okay. said. So, let us go with you. So, so, Allah told the angels that He will create a man who will do mischief, correct? You just say that. Yeah. Okay. So what they are saying to him, are you going to create somebody who will do mischief, man? And then he appoints no, no, them. Him, are you going to create? He said, they're asking him, why would you put him as your, your Khalifa on earth? Because he's going to cause bloodshed. Mm -hmm. And that's the only information they had. So Allah told them, I have more information about his nature than you do. Okay. So if he's I, not just. If, if I have more information, if I have more information, why he yes. is saying to them if you are truthful he should say if you have enough information yeah you're stuck on this truthful the truth that allah is speaking of in this verse is absolute truth and you can know that if you just go lower ver read verse 32 where it's we did. where it says we did. where it says See, the angels they admit okay, yeah, they, they admit and see. They, the angels, they say to him that we have hold no on. knowledge except hold on products. everybody is laughing if the, the, the right. angels the angels they consist that they are ignorant and they are stupid. Why? Because Allah, he called the, 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 the cat Susu, which is a very stupid story. Because me naming things and then asking you what the name of the things does not prove that I am not knowledgeable. What about we do with the opposite? What if Allah, he said to them, okay, go in the wood 
and give names for those things this tree and that tree and whatever give them names and come to me without telling me and ask me what the name of those things and then i will tell you because i know the unseen then then that will prove yes. hold on so then 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 that, then then that will prove that allah is god because they did not tell him nobody told him he knew the unseen but look what he did very silly stupid story he called the cat Susu, and he may ask to ask you, "What is the name of my cat?" I'm understanding the the context of of this. Uh, this exercise. is the context. This is the, the context. Exercise is not to prove to them that he knows everything. It's to prove to them okay. that they only he, have knowledge. He, of okay. Did he prove that they are truthful or not? He proved to them that they only know what he's taught. This them. is another question. So only, when Allah he says, no, "If you are truthful." This is this is this is our this is our topic. Truthful, truthful. You see the word there is truthful. We cannot we cannot replace it with something else. So did Allah prove that they are truthful or not? He proved to them that they don't have the absolute truth. This is not the question. This is not the question. You are answering something that is, different. That should be your no, question. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to hang up on you because you are stuck. You you keep repeating because I'm asking you when Allah He said truthful, why you are replacing the word? He said if you are truthful, did Allah prove that they are truthful or not? Semantics, sir. Well, you're so stuck on that word, sir. Like, because it is the, the word there. We cannot replace we it. This is supposed in scriptures. What's wrong with you? What a stubborn people, man. I'm stuck with it because it is there. Do you want me to replace it and then you will say Christian Prince is changing the Quran? In order to solve the stupidity of the author of the Quran, we have to forget about this word. Why are you stuck with this word? Well, it is there. I can change it. Can I? Don't you most of you say the Quran preserved letter by letter, word by word? It says there, tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. Very simple. A donkey will understand. understand. So if you are truthful, you can tell the names. If you cannot tell the names, you are not truthful. Very simple. Suddenly, it's about the knowledge of Allah, and Allah is agreeing with them. Where is the word coming from? So, Darax, I will, I will listen to you. Please don't make me angry. Is it, there, is it there? Is it there saying if you are truthful? Does it say that or not? Yes, it does. But can you agree with me that we I should see what is when Allah? Okay, let me. If they let are me truthful, make a statement, sir. You if don't they even are, let you me did speak. already. Let us focus again. If they are okay. truthful, they can tell the names. Were are they able to tell the names? Yes, but the, no, no, they weren't able to tell okay, the so names. Okay, so they are not but... truthful. I'm not going to listen to you no more. People will be the judge. Don't waste my time. If they are truthful, they can tell the names. Don't call me again, please. I don't want to talk to kids. Even your prophet, he says, Muslim women have half a brain, which I don't agree with, you know? But... Somehow, maybe he's right about some Muslim women. Because you come with your own fabrication, following a false prophet, saying you are half a brain and you are defending him. The one who wrote this verse as a man, and he is the half a brain, not the woman. Because if he have little brain, he should not make such a statement in the clear Arabic. Tell me the names of those are uh, if you are truthful. He did not say if you are knowledgeable. Arabic is full of words. I can use many words. I do not need to use the word Sadiqeen. Did Allah choose the word carefully? The Muslims, they say, absolutely. So why he said, if you are truthful? Based on what you said, Allah should use the word, if you are knowledgeable. If you are knowledgeable, I'm not accusing you to be a liar. I'm just accusing you. I'm saying to you, you don't have enough knowledge. Okay, that's good. He did not use that word. He said, if you are truthful, tell me the names. You want me to forget about the word because this is the, this is where the better and the cheese is. Obviously, Allah is using his own language for a purpose, Aka Muhammad. So what this verse is saying to us, that the God of Islam is accusing his angels to be a bunch of liars and they accuse Adam falsely. And this is why he ordered them to bow down to Adam because they wanted to accuse is Adam. 
Do you see it? The first mushrik Allah. Muslim, they say we Muslim, we bow only to Allah. They bow the kings, they bow to the caliphate, they bow to everybody. Hypocrites. They go to take a passport, they take an oath, we will be allegiant to the Queen of England. They bow down. Just to take a passport. As they take a passport, they say, well, no, we don't, we didn't, you know, we're Muslims. <laughs> and here, Allah is ordering the angels to bow down in front of Adam, not him. Why? Because they made a false accusation to Adam. The Muslim they will say to you, oh, this is not an act of worship. It's an act of respect. Okay, we will go with it. Allah, he forced the angels to bow down to Adam, respecting him because they didn't respect him before. So Allah, he opposed what they said, but all of us, we knew that the angels are right. Because a few verses after, Adam, he commits sin, and Allah kicked him out of heaven. Stupid <laughs> Quran. Just two verses after. <coughs> so the Quran saying, if you are truthful, Uh, the bowing signify the honor of Adam? Like, what the heck? Is Adam is more honorable than the angels? Look what she said to me. I'm going to call her. Hold on. <laughs> the Rex, I saw your text. Yes, you're lying. Why are you lying? You're lying. To okay, the tell, people, tell the people what you said in the te in the text to me. Yeah. So the like he was he was telling you that you know their mushrik. Why did why did they why did he make them bow to Adam? Tell me it's what you said in the chat. It's, tell it's me what you said in the text. It signifies the it signifies the honor that Adam had in Jannah before he committed sin. That's all. Like so there's is, no there's so no who worship is more there. Honor there's okay, hold there. on. Okay, no, who is who is more honorable in yes. Islam? Hold on, who is more honorable in Islam, Adam or the angels? Before he committed this sin, it was Adam. This is not the question. Before he committed sin, it okay. was Adam. Sir. So, guys, he before go... he committed sin, it was Adam. Yeah, because Why? okay, and I have proof for this. I have proof for this in the Quran. You can go to chapter fifteen, verse twenty-nine to thirty. You'll see that after after Allah created uh, Adam, he he uh -huh. tells him. When I have formed him and breathed into him my spirit, hmm. fall down prostrating before him. So the angels prostrated themselves together. No, so that, angels that's a story. No. no, you are making no, up. You are making you are making up the story. No. Made, hey, is, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. So when you know when the Quran says when when I formed him and I shaved him and I created him, they bow yes. down to him. He is Muhammad. They, Hold on. Him, let me talk. Let me talk. Let, let, let me talk. Okay. So that verse is not caught in the Holy Story because they did not bow down right away to him just because he created him. They bow down after the story happened. Breathed into him of my spirit. Uh, angels are just creatures of light. But okay, Adam, hold on. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He's created the, from it, the breath. It, the angels Allah. are created from what? They're creatures from a flight, right? Okay, and Adam created from what? The breath, the breath of Allah. Like that's what gave him life. Okay, which one is so? Uh, Adam is more honorable because he is from the breath of Allah. At least that's the sense that I'm getting because then the angels prostrate themselves before this is another him. Question. So this, um, this focus, is showing focus with me. The focus with me. Focus, focus with me. So. Is that a reason they have to bow down to him because he's from the breath of Allah and they are just made from light? No, I'm just giving you a context. I cannot like definitively so why say are, that. You, but why, that's, you make, why you are no, making but, things but, up? So why are you adding those things to I'm the not, story? Okay, uh, so no, I'm asking I'm you now, saying, based on this story, when he created Adam, the angels, they bow down right away. Is that an order of Allah for them to bow down or they start bowing down right away by themselves? Wait, you can you can you repeat the question, sir? Uh -huh. Chapter fifteen, no, verse number twenty-nine, the one you just quote for me. When Allah yes. He finished Adam as a creation, it says here, yeah. when I did that, they bow down to Him. 
did they bow down by the order of Allah or it was them that they saw Adam they start bowing down what happened well they bowed down because he told them to you can see in the verse that he said fall where is, down where, is, where it says where it says that verse 29 it says fall down prostrating before him yeah, it, so says, it says okay it says they did that it doesn't say he all he told them to do that no, no, there's an order here. It's where, says, where, down. Where, where, where is the order? Where is the order? Can you show the me the order? order? Is, the order is verse 29. The verse 29. Okay, I'm, says, I'm listening. Can you show me the word order in the verse 29? When Allah commands something, He says, fall down, prostrating where before Allah, him. That's where it an says, order. Where it says Allah commands something in the verse 29. So you're specifically looking for the word command? My friend, are you adding things to the Quran? Are you adding things? I'm not adding anything okay. to the Quran. I'm asking sir. you. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Listen. Where you got that Allah, he command them there. Can you show me the word command? The word command? Like you actually want to see that word? Where you got that your answer from? You said to me, Allah command them. Okay, I'm okay, asking you. Command, where command you learned that from? from? Them. Shut He's up. Listen. You're just a kid. I asked you, listen carefully to the question. I said to you, where we can find the word command? You said it is in verse number 29. Where? Show no, me. Not the word. I wasn't saying the word, but you can get the gist from what he's saying, where, right? Okay, when how I, you can get it? How come then, you can okay. get it? How come you can get it? I cannot. So are you then, are you smarter than Allah? Are you saying that Allah, he said it there, but it's a secret word. Only Muslim can see it. No, no, no. Let me read the verse and people can okay, judge read the, it. Okay, read the verse. Okay, go ahead. So when I have formed him mm. and breathed into him my spirit, okay. fall down, prostrating before him. Okay. 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 What yeah. is the word I command them to fall down? Fall down, prostrating before him. This is Allah speaking to the angels. He's speaking to them and he told them, fall down, prostrating no, before Allah, him. First, uh, uh, Allah. first, Allah is not speaking here to angels at all. He's talking to Muhammad about what happened. No, happened. no, no. Your, angel, your Lord said to the angels, okay. look, verse 28 says that. Okay. Verse 28 to 29, you can read it. Okay. Your Lord said to the angels, okay. I am creating a human being from clay, okay. from molded mud. Okay. And then he continues, okay. when I have formed him mm -hmm. and breathed into him of my spirit, okay. fall down, okay. prostrating before him. Okay. Still, he's talking to Muhammad because this Quran gave no, it to Muhammad. To now, angels. listen, 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 listen. Okay, listen what happened. Okay. So, when I formed him and I finished him, what happened? Right away they bow down. So Allah did not order them, based on this verse. I don't. I I'm sorry, but the English. I don't know what it says in Arabic. Maybe you can you can My tell friend, me. But it's in I'm Arabic not, or English. It's saying the, it, English, it is the same. English. You are adding words. Okay. So the angels, the, the angels say to Allah. See, it's talking to Muhammad. When your Lord, speaking to who? To Muhammad. When your Lord said to the angels, I am going to create a man. Uh, between two brackets, you, Adam, from a sound of clay and enter black smooth mud. This is the translation. And so when I finished him completely and breathed into him the soul which I created in him, this is a translation, not, not a false translation, by the way. Then they fall down prostrating. Did Allah say to them, fall down to prostrate? Or this is automatic happen? You said he ordered them. I ask you, where is the Sorry. proof? But okay, so verse twenty nine. I mean twenty eight. The when you, your Lord said to the angels. So now whatever follows is what the Lord said to the angels. Can we agree on that? So he's he's speaking he, he to the told angels. Us, he told it's us. He told us what he said. He told us what he said in the past to the angels. Oh, the Lord speaking to the angels for for the one in the in the quotation marks, right? Okay, what he that said way. to them. What he said to them. He said to them, when I have formed him and breathed into him no, 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 of no. my... What, what Allah said to the angels? Down, prostrating before him. Where, so that's what Allah the, said to the angels. Did Allah say, when I finish creation, you have to bow down. Okay, when you see it's done, bow down. No, he did not say that. He said, I am going to create a man from a clay. That's all. And then, when I finish no, him... No. Verse follows. It's the same. It's it has, it has... Just, you're, sorry, I, I don't want to insult you, but I have to insult. Now, you're stupid. Don't call me back. You know, sometimes people, they say to me, you have to have more patience. You have to have a billion tons of patience with this religion. 
I mean, the verse in the front of us, we repeat it a thousand times, and instead she say, Allah, he command them. She can see it, we cannot see it. The only place we can see that Allah, he command, is the other chapter which is showing us that Muhammad is a fraud because he was not consistent in the story. The story here is different from the other story. He forgot to mention that because they accuse Adam of mischievement, then Allah, he order to bow down. Here it says, And then we said to the angels, prostrate yourself before Adam. You see the command? Here there's a command. There there's no command. So the stupid Muhammad, he could not repeat the same story twice correctly. There there's no command. There's no order to bow down. When I finished him, they bow down. Here, it's a different story. There's a take and give. They said, I said. There, on the Allah, he said to the angels, I'm going to create an, an, a human being. Angels, they said nothing. Here, the angels, they are opposing such a creation because he would do mischievement. Here, there's a long story about Allah, he get upset from them to the point he accused them to be a bunch of liars saying, if you are truthful. This is not an easy accusation because if the angels are not a truthful then who is a truthful and she said that Adam is more honorable because uh, he created from the breed of Allah when I questioned that she started try to try to say her own and she said no I'm not, I'm not you know. she said that but remember the angels are created from light and Allah himself is light, supposedly. So the angels, they have the nature of Allah. And not only that, he described his light physically compared to a burning light in a tree light up by olive oil. Allah is a fire. We might say, okay, we know in the Bible says that Moses says he saw the burning bush, but none of us we say that that fire it was, you know, God. He's not a fire. We don't believe that our God is a fire. The burning bush does not mean that God is a fire. Here, Allah is saying, he is giving an example of himself. Allah is made of fire, and that fire makes light. And this fire needs fuel. So Allah, he worked by fuel. You see, when the Quran says, the similarity of Allah is like this. They cannot say, I am, comp you know, the Muslim, they say, you cannot compare anything to Allah. You see the stupidity? And then we find that Allah himself is comparing himself to a tree. Allah himself is comparing himself to a glass. Allah himself is in a niche, and the niche is inside the lamp. And the lamp is inside the glass. And the glass is like a, weird, a, a brilliant star from a blessed tree. And the olive is the fuel of it. If this is not a compare, a compare, what is it? And the Muslim, they say, okay, you have a hand, Allah have a hand. Do you think that your hand is the same as the hand of Allah? Well, who care? Thank God it's not my hand like Allah. Maybe his hand is a frog. I'm a human. And as long as Allah, nobody can compare him to anything. How in the world Allah compare himself to olive oil, fuel, tree, lamp, niche, glass. So based on this, if we open the belly of Allah, 
we will find that inside Allah there is the stages about his light. He's, from, he's made from light, Allah. He is inside a niche. And within the niche there is a lamp. And the lamp is in a glass. And the glass were like a brilliant star. And it's fuel from a blasted tree which produce olive. So when the Muslim they say that Allah is a self sustain, well, uh, Allah He take His oil from tree, and He is burning oil. He is not even a light. You see, did Allah make a mistake when He says this? Do you think that the one who wrote the Quran He compare Himself to a burning oil, which is inside? A glass which is inside a lamp which inside a niche did he compare himself to something right or wrong this is the Quran and here you will notice that the light of Allah is shiny even if it does not touch it uh, fire but it is still olive <laughs> shiny olive the god of islam is an olive tree if they will say this is a parable okay what is the similarity between the olive tree and allah and how Allah he compared himself to a tree. Going back to our topic, if you are truthful, we cannot replace it. If they cannot tell the names, they are not truthful. This is why he ordered them to bow down to Adam, because they could not prove their claim. But the fact, the angels, they were right. And nowhere Allah, he told them before that Adam would do mischievement. If Muslim, they want to come to me with the stories, well, they have to give us where they got the story from. If Allah, he told, because remember, there's no was there, nobody was there to say, I heard Allah saying this, you know what I mean? And if Muhammad himself, he heard, he should be hearing this from Allah himself, and that would be in the Quran. So such a story should be only in the Quran, no other place. But we cannot find it. Or what we see that Allah said to the angels, I'm going to create somebody. And then the angels, they revolute against him, they like a revolution, says, are you going to do create somebody who would do this? Which means, are you stupid or what? Allah, he get upset from them. And he said to them, I know what you know not. So what they know, is not what Allah know. What they know is that Adam will do mischievement. What Allah know is different. Allah will not do, Adam will not do mischievement. Allah wanted to prove to them that they are wrong about Adam. So he taught Adam all the names. Then he showed those items to the angels. And he asked them, okay, which means if you are accusing Adam to do mischievement, Tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. The result of that, they could not tell the names. What does that mean? They are not truthful. And now because this is destroy Islam left and right, they have to come with their own fabrication, add words to the Quran, speaking this is about knowledge. We know this is about knowledge. Yes, this is about knowledge. But he just said, if you are truthful, so the accusation of the angels according to the Quran was false, not a truth. Because Allah, he made it clear, if you are truthful, you can tell the names. He did not say if you are knowledgeable. He did not say if you are smart. He did not say if you are fat, if you are skinny. He said if you are truthful. So if they fail to tell 
the names the angels are not truthful so how Muhammad received Quran from Jibreel who is not a truthful any Muslim can tell us as long we confirm and the verse is so clear that the angels all the angels you see here it doesn't say like one angel the angels all of them the angels not some of the angels few of the angels you know the angels they said all of them hmm. what do you think Do we have any Abdul? He don't want to repeat himself like this girl. By the way, as long Muslims they can explain the Quran, how come there is not a seer written by the Quran by the by by women? My sister, you can explain the Quran better than the Muslim sister. <laughs> huh? Madness, stupidity, crazy religion. They try their best to defend it, but it's it's stupid. It doesn't make sense. And you know, if you do not know the name of my cat, that does not prove that I am all knowledgeable. The story itself is so stupid. I walk in the street, I have my cat with me, and I ask you, what is the name of my cat? You say, I do not know the name of your cat. Oh, okay, let me tell you now that I know more than you, and I am God. My cat name is Susu, and her boyfriend is Dudu. And then he would say like, wow, how you know that? I said, see, I told you, I know what you know not. Imagine you see somebody and you are debating with him about serious topic like Adam. And then he said to you, well, okay, what you said about Adam, if you are truthful, tell me the name of my cat. And then you start shaking your head. You say, you start guessing, he says, uh, Dada? No. Okay, uh, Cuckoo? Mm, no. Susu, well, Allah, he called her Susu, by the way, but now he will change the names to get the guy busted. He will say no. But he just told us it's Susu. But he want to get him busted. No. So now what the, whatever the guy he says, they will say to him, no, 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 no. And then the guy, he give up. He says, okay, you know what? I give up. Then he will say her name is Uthman. The angels, they will say, wow, meow, meow, how Allah knows. I'm sure the angels, they were astonished after Allah gave names for those things which nobody knows, save him, brother. What a stupid cult. This is how you prove, this is how you get them busted. You know the names. We should do the opposite. We should say, okay, go travel a thousand years away from me and, uh, you know, say something in your head. Give name for a tree or a dog or anything. And then come to me and ask me, what is the name you gave? And I will tell you, that will prove that he have knowledge. But you name the names of things and then you place the things in the front of them and then you ask them to tell you the truth and that mean you have more knowledgeable you are more knowledgeable that's stupid that is extremely stupid so the story the one who wrote the story obviously he have a brain of a little cat I challenge anyone to say this is not this is a smart story in the same time, if the angels, they accuse Adam, he would do mischievement, and they are right, he did mischievement. Why they need to bow down to him? She said, uh, to show how much should be respecting him. But this is the sinner guy. She said, before he commits sin, like, hold on, 
Don't Allah knew the future that he will commit sin? Don't Allah knew that the angels do are better than him? If Allah he knew the future and the whole point is to prove that I know what you know not, then they should not order them to bow down to Adam because he knew that second day Adam will do mischievement. When I will debate sister Uthman, give me his Skype, I will call him right now. The problem that your sister Uthman, she is afraid, you know, that if she allow me to call her, people will talk about her reputation because she is a girl. I am the one saying, I will call you. Sister Uthman, she says, I'm not going to give you my number. <laughs> my Skype. <laughs> that is reality. All of you are cowards. When your brother are going to debate, uh, this is a sister. I am the one who keeps saying, you see, we, we, we have a guy, he called us. We were happy that Sheikh Uthman, he called us. Now, some they say he is not. Some they say he is. It doesn't matter if he is or not. We were excited. And I did not hang up on him because I thought this is Uthman. And he got... We walk the floor with him. So, your Susu, she don't dare to call me because she knew that this is a wrong decision. She don't allow me to call her, even if it's her program. I will call her in her show. She go live on air. She wear hijab, burqa. She open her camera. I hope she will be wearing clothes. And I will call her, which means she can mute me, I cannot mute her. She can hang up on me, I cannot hang up on her. Still, she will not do it. Coward. So who is the one who's scared? I never say I will not debate this guy or this guy. My Skype is open, and right now it's open. All that I'm getting is just a bunch of kids trying to you know, say whatever rubbish they want. And the reason the Muslims, they send me their kids, because when you are a kid, you can say whatever you want. I mean, there is no career to lose. Their scholars don't dare to call me because it's a career ending. As simple as that. Correct? What do you think? If a Christian prince, he know nothing, he is a liar, they will, they should call him and get him busted in two, in two minutes. I mean, the easiest one you can get him busted is somebody he made a lie. Very simple. You said this. Okay, here we go. The reference you are lying. Correct? Mimi Hijab, he decided to be a hero. He said to the Muslims, Who you want me? This is after his debate with David Wood. He thought like he's, you know, he's a, he's a big, a big shish kebab. Who you want me to debate, guys? They said to him, Brother, Christian Prince, he is making a lot of Muslim leave Islam. So he said, Okay, okay. Uh, this day, uh, he did not even send me the link. He did not even tell me. Which means if I did not, if not people did not tell me, how in the world I would know that this guy he scheduled a debate with me without telling me? Do you see the cowards? Like now I schedule a debate, says live debate with Sheikh Uthman Wednesday. And uh, on Wednesday come and Uthman never heard of this. And then I will say, oh, he ran away. Mm -hmm. That's what he did. And then what that day came, I called him and we waited for 45 minutes. He had five, seven, six boys around him to protect him. He put the speakers of the computer far away from the microphone so nobody would hear my answers. Look, you see, you see how, how deceiving, how, 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 I mean, how filthy, how, you know, they plan for things and then they have video quoted. Did you say that? They don't want to debate. Did you say that? Hang up on him. They are so much terrified. And when I ask him, why you don't say inshallah, people, you know, the ignorant one that says, why you focus on this? My friend, in Islam, a person who don't say inshallah before he want to do something, he isn't a Muslim. So by not doing that ever, he is a false Muslim. There's a story about even David himself, and he is a prophet of Allah according to the Quran. He tried to have sex with 99 females. But because he forgot to say inshallah after he unzipped his panty, the prophet of Islam, 
Allah gave him half child, which means disabled boy. He forgot to say, inshallah. So Muslim, they focus so much, inshallah, and this guy, he never said that, inshallah, he will do. Maybe now he starts saying it after I spank him. <laughs> yeah, you finished, boy? And you know, and then they made a video, Christian predator, like, no, a Christian sexual predator. Like, what? What, what? what? what happened? He said to a Muslim woman, suckle me. And he said that to me, you know, he said, uh, did you say to a Muslim woman, suckle me? I said, I was quoting your stupid prophet, Abdul. And he hung up on me in a second. And later we find that the same, what is supposedly is not nice and it's not good to say, we found that Mimi Hijab, he go around and he said to Muslim women, he was saying it actually to a sheikh. A Muslim sheikh. I mean, why you are talking about the wife of this guy? I'm, I was talking to a Muslim woman. She said something filthy about Jesus that he was playing with his mother breast in a sexual way. So I said to her, you are filthy. You insulted Jesus for no reason. In fact, it's your prophet who ordered you to do suckle, suckling, suckle me. They cut the whole thing. This is how coward they are. And they played that part and said, suckle me. The woman, she said, you are not married because the Christians, uh, women, they are, they have AIDS. I said, in fact, I, she, you, need, you, you need someone like me to marry because the Christian women, they have AIDS. I said, in fact, the one who go and bring AIDS or Muslim, bring, you know, cause the Muslim, to have, Muslim women to have AIDS is you. You are full of AIDS. All those from Saudi Arabia, Emirat, Bahrain, Qatar, they go for one tourism purpose. It is a prostitution. And everybody know that. You go in the month of Ramadan to Thailand, to Philippines, to any country, have a lot of prostitution. You will find number one customers is Arab. When I walk in the Philippines, every single person see me in the streets, she said she called me Habibi. They, they even prostitute, they learn Arabic because their customers are Arab. So she accused the Christian women that they have AIDS. So when we respond to them, they say, did you say that? And did you see how, how low class they are, how dishonest they are? They do, they thought they can smear me. They can, uh, like, you know, they say, let us destroy his reputation. And you see, you destroy my reputation very much to the point I have like 1,400 people going live with me. Zach and Nike, go live on air, you have 600. And then when he go live, he is asking women to send their pictures to his son. I mean, have you ever heard of a scam like this? And you notice with me that when the Muslim, they get so upset, they try to make it as it is about you. But the one who said that is their prophet and the sheikh whom Muhammad Hijab is attacking, he is just quoting what his prophet said and he believe in it. Muhammad Hijab, he don't want this to be spread. It is showing that how stupid Muhammad is. So he start insulting this guy. He's a street boy. And you know, for the sake of argument, the woman, the wife of this guy, she is not talking to you. You are talking to the guy. Why you are saying such a statement to his wife? If she is the one arguing with him, and then Mimi Hijab, he says, okay, suck on me. Can you give me your tits? I will understand that he is responding to what she said, but he is responding to a guy. Why he's talking about his wife? His wife, she is not involved in this story. Do we have any Abdul want to say anything? And the prophet, he married Mary, he, he freed her and honored her and married her. <laughs> and we get them busted always. You see, 
I mean, you can tell that Christian Prince, the, the Muslim, they say, I, I saw a comment, if you see it in the previous video, if you are desperate to debate, why you don't debate them? But my friend, where are they? Why somebody want to debate me? He need me to go to San Diego. Why you need to do that? If you want to tell me you can pay for my ticket, your friends, your family, the Afghanis, they are coming to USA and they are refugee by hundreds of thousands. If you are generous, save the money and make a free call in Skype. It costs you nothing, it costs me nothing. We can show reference in the screen and I will call you in your live program. Still didn't dare to do it. If I was an American person, I mean, born in America, I don't speak Arabic, I'm not an Arab, I had a blue eyes, and my name maybe is David or whatever, the most time they will line up to debate me. As simple as that. The second you say Christian Prince, they say we debate him only face to face because they knew that Christian Prince don't do that. And there's many reasons, by the way, I don't do that. I'm a, I'm a very hot blooded person. If somebody touch me, push me, I'm not going to take it in a friendly way, you know? Like, you, we see what Muslim they do to this lady, Hatun. If I'm there, the, the action the action will be different. I'm not a person you play with. So I don't want to meet anyone in person because that can lead to something wrong. As simple as that. Same time, why we want to go to that far if we can do it here live on air and everybody can watch it from every country in the world. What this is face to face? How come they debate everybody in the computer when it's come to me only face to face? Potatoes. You know, people are different. There is people they, you notice even when I am arguing with people, if they make me angry, I go really angry. So if you are speaking to people in person and they start insulting, things can go wrong. It can go wrong from their side, it can go wrong from my side. So why when I go there, internet is nice, it is safe for you and me, and, and you know, preventing any wrong from happening from your side or from my side. And at the end of the day, people, they want answers. They are not really caring for people meeting people. These days we can play chess without even meeting each other. Correct? Hey guys, I need to go and meet Allah again. Just give me a second. But this time it's not because I want to go there. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I want to make some tea, okay? Just hold it because my throat is really so dry. Give me a second. A second, an Arabian second is like, you know, I mean, you know the thing. <laughs>
All right, sorry for that. You know, I just made the tea, but I cannot drink it right away because I like it to be dark, strong, let us say. I don't boil it, but it takes time to get uh, the water dark, you know. <clears throat> so, do we have any Muhammadan he have anything to say to us? And by the way, what happened to all Indonesian Ustad? Since the last Ustad, he spoke not to me, I mean, he tried to refute me. And this guy, he died, and we died laughing at him before he died. Where is the rest of the Ustad? Which do you like? I mean, I don't, you know, I mean, it's just I like English style. I don't like, uh, uh, I don't really drink like a green tea. I find them, they have no taste, you know. No, I was making tea. I wasn't going, uh, no. So if you are a person from Indonesia, Philippines, do you remember the guy who is from Philippines? <clears throat> you know, somebody sent me a video of a guy from the Philippines saying, if you are a priest, call me. I challenge you. I want to debate you. You know, so I said, okay, we got uh, a potato. So I went to his page on Facebook. I said, I want to call you. He ignored. I said, uh, let us debate. He ignored. Abdul, hello. He ignored. I made a video for him. He ignored. I made two videos. He ignored. Three videos. He ignored. Then we called him in his cell phone. He, me, I don't use phone, you know. I'm not that worthy to call, you know, international calls. Or, so somebody called him by phone and he put him in the speaker and he still he don't want to debate me. And he said, I debate real American. Real American. You are not American. You have accent. So if you are not real American, he will not debate you. They are obsessed with the white people. You have to be white, blonde. Otherwise, you are not worth our debate. You are not American. It's in YouTube. You can search it. I forgot his name, really. What's his name? In, in the sand? In the sand. Think something like this. I think Rashid in the sand. Something like that. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah, you are not really American. You have accent. Actually, the reason he don't want to debate me because he knew that I'm an Arab. That is a real reason. If I was an American, yes, he would debate me. I guarantee you that. Honestly, I'm not, you know, you can search the video. You know, we have a chat room at that time open, and the guy, he called him by calling his cell phone. Now, this, uh, this video is long now. It's like four hours. But, you know, you guys, you can download it and you can cut parts based on those colors. Okay, we have a Muslim. I don't know if this is ultimate part. We will see. Give him a try. <clears throat> Let us try our tea first. Still not ready. Daddy, all day. Mm. You, can run? you see, uh, uh, you are just a person who have no honor. 
I mean, obviously, we don't want to talk to you. You're just a kid. You keep calling, and you don't know what you are talking about. Yeah, okay. Listen, are you the one who said to me you accept Rashad Khalifa translation? I, yes. Okay. Rashad said, Khalifa, you know, when you call me, you said that the Bible is the same as the false hadith. Yes. Okay. And this is Rashid Khalifa translation. Chapter 2, verse number 89 says, and which, you know, what you have, Allah, he agree, confirming what you have. Yes, to the to the Jews, go to five, go to five forty three. <laughs> when they came to when they came, to... just get out of here, <laughs> guys. He confirmed to the Jews. Stupid donkey! Don't call me, you stupid idiot. Coward potato to the Jews. Well, didn't you say the Bible anyway? The Bible is the Jews and the Christians. Secondly, you donkey. The people of the book is the Jews and the Christians. Idiot. And if you say only to the Jews, that means at least the Torah never been changed. Tato. This guy is like, he's a stalker, you know, a stalker. We get him busted each time he called. To the Jews. A brother, this is to the Jews. What the heck? This is to the Jews. Are you sure? Ultimate fault, he have the knowledge of Allah. Where it says to the Jews, read with me. It says the Torah and the Injil. And this is their Muslim translation. <laughs> this is why you see why I don't talk to you. You are so silly, you are so stupid, and you have no dignity. And I spank you in a second and then I hang up on you and you call me again and because supposedly you are scary. To the Jews, brother, to the Jews. <laughs> he tried to fix it, he make it more blind. Because if the Jews they have the true book, that means they do not need Muhammad still. They have the true book. Why do they want to follow him anyway? There is no need for me to follow a new prophet when I have already the book and the prophet. So if you say this is only the Torah, that's mean the Jews should not follow Muhammad, should not listen to him because they have the book. Stupid idiot. And he add his own, like, you know, this guy, he have his own touch for everything, you know. And yeah, Abdul, don't forget to download this and put it in your page. Make a new name and call me. You answer, you know, we got you busted in two seconds and we send you over. Free shipping and handling. Hmm. Oh, Lord have mercy. All right. Do we have any real Abdul? Beside this guy who fabricate things is not there. Hmm? So when every liar he say that the Bible is corrupted and then we go to their stupid Quran where it says confirming what is with them even in the translation which they accept. Stupidity is amazing. Mm. Any Abdul? But you know, I have to say that this guy is is a is a kind of, you know, like when uh, you walk in the street and there's a dog, he stalk you. Oh, 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 oh. You stop, he stop. You, you walk, he walk. <laughs> Once I was in Asia, and there was two ladies. You know, one of them is old and the other one is young, and there's like six, seven dogs around them. Oh, 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 oh. Scary, you know. I want to say scary. I mean, dogs can kill you. So I don't want to be there, me myself, but I could not just watch. So I went there and I told them, you know, uh, I mean, there are many dogs. It's not like one or two. I said, don't be scared. Let us walk slowly. Okay. 
I will keep my face to them and you walk in the direction but don't run don't run don't be scared but I mean they are not listening they are and they are in panic anyway I was able to walk them uh, away but those dogs you face them they back up you turn your back they are all over you they did not bite us yet you know they did not bite but they go crazy the second you turn your back walking away even if it's slowly they go crazy and this guy is like them you turn your back to him he go crazy you face him with the truth he park and now this verse is about the Torah only if we ask him where it says the Torah <laughs> Where, where? He's the guy, he said he don't believe in the hate, right? So, where in the verse it says, this is about the Torah only? Stupid idiot. And not only this verse, all the verses are the same. It says here, just to show you the verses before it, just to show you this is about both. We gave Moses the book and we gave Isa the, 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 the gospel. And yet the donkey said, this is about the Torah. <laughs> this is the verse before it. Do you see the stupidity? Just the verse before it, it says that Allah, he gave to Moses the book and gave Jesus the gospel. And then when come to them, A book confirming what is with them, which is the Torah and the Injil. And the Muslim, they add words between two brackets to solve it. <clears throat> Stupidity is amazing. Oh. And by the way, why in your favorite translation did not say the Jews? Why it doesn't say that? Where is the word Jews here? At least, you know, quote for me a translation, I agree with you. And if it is the Jews, the verse before it says, the Christian and the Jews, Allah gave the scriptures to Moses and to Isa. And we supported them with the Holy Spirit. Hmm. And there's tons of verses in the Quran confirming the Bible, the Torah, and the Gospel. And actually, here there is something very important. This is the translation this guy he like. And when they told, when they are told, you shall believe in their revelation. Very funny translation, but we will go with it. They say we believe only in what is sent down to us. <laughs> okay, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with the saying, we, we believe in only what is sent down to us? That means they believe. Thus they disbelieve. But why? What they did? And then it says that those Jews, they kill the prophets. You see, this is the same translation, this Abdul he chose. Allah in the Quran have time to tell us about the ants speaking to the ants. He have time to tell us about women offering themselves to the Prophet to if them. He have time to us to tell us 
about guys who sleep in a cave and he do not know their number. He have time to tell us about where the sun set in the murky water, but he cannot tell us one prophet was killed by the Jews. And as long the Quran confirmed that the Jews they kill prophets, they killed who? Jesus? Who is a Muslim want to tell me the Jews they killed who? Who is the prophet the Jews they killed? Any Mohammedan can tell us? Isn't it weird that Muslim they believe that the Jews they killed prophet when we say if, if they if they accept that Jesus is a prophet? The Quran speak only about a person the Jews they say we killed. Only one person, they don't have two. They say we killed the Messiah. Nowhere in the Quran you will see that any verse saying that the Jews they say we killed uh, like maybe John the Baptist, maybe uh, etc. No, you will see the Quran saying that the Jews they said we killed Isa. No one else. And chapter 2 verse number 91 Allah is saying to them, if you are truly believer, then why you kill the prophets of God? Who are they, the prophets of God, which the Jews killed? We have somebody, he says he is from Indonesia. We do not know. Maybe this is ultimate fort again. Hello? You know, it's still me. Yeah, no, it's you because there's no idiot except you. Why are you lying on me? And you are a liar. You are talking about liars. Did you say, send me a text saying that I am from Indonesia? Yes. Okay, so who is the liar? No, because I got to make Just sure that you Just shut up, son of Muta, stupid idiot. So you call me to say I'm a liar, and you suggest straight to me I am from Indonesia? <laughs> I mean, do you see how fast? <laughs> I feel sorry for this guy. Liar. He, he, like, he is the one who said liar. I mean, this guy, as if he's working for me, honestly. He just called me liar. But he is the one who texted me and says I'm from Indonesia. And I know it's ultimate fault because I told you this guy is like a dog. The more you kick him, the more he will arrive himself in your shoe. Aren't you done, stupid? So now you are Indonesian? What happened? Did you change your gender too? Next time he will call me with a picture of a girl. Her name is Susu. Stupid. I have no respect for such a people. You know, look, you know, if, if you think you are, you are accomplishing anything, people are dying laughing. I am from Indonesia and he's calling me a liar. The first word he said to me, liar. <laughs> oh, really? Oh. Ah, the tea is ready now. It's fun, isn't it? Hey guys, honestly, isn't this the best entertainment ever you can have? I mean, forget about TV, forget about Mickey Mouse and cartoon. I mean, those guys are hilarious. You know, uh, uh, once, 
uh, someone told me uh, do you like like when you are alone like do you remember things I said actually you know once it happened you know to me I was driving my car and uh, I just remember something Muslim they said to me before and start laughing but people don't understand what this guy is laughing about <laughs> Like, you know it's like a crazy guy you know like, why you why he's laughing <laughs> so those things they will come back to your memory later and you will laugh you cannot hold yourself because when they come to the memory it's really funny you're a liar look you are the one just told me you're from Indonesia look how decent he is he became Asian no Change your name and call me back so we can laugh more. What do you wanna what is the first word you wanna call me next time? <laughs> uh. <sighs> do we have a real Abdul from Indonesia? Real Abdul. Anyone? No, it's not you know sad or not. I mean, don't don't feel sorry for anyone. You know, I mentioned before. Even if I have a member of my own family, let us say in the future I get kids, or you know, if if this happened ever, if my son decide to be an atheist, I will never feel sorry for him. Go to hell. It's his decision. Feel no sorry for people do their own choice. Never. Your family is not someone is born from your blood. It's those who will meet up with you in the location you will be after life. Either it's hell or heaven. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because those people are the one you will spend your eternity with them. The family you are born of today, they are temporarily family. And you did not choose them. And they are not like you. They might be. But many, they will not be like you. If you are a believer. So, the true family is the one you will spend your eternity with them. Those, they will be beautiful people. Not about look. It's not about look. When we say beautiful, it's about how beautiful their heart is. This is why they are there. People who you are born with, brother or sister, even mother or father. I mean, they can be bad, they can be good. You never know. They can be very ugly. There's some parents, they don't deserve to be parents. They have nothing to do with the word parents at all. So, this is something you cannot fix. And never feel sorry for anyone if he is bad, because he would be bad to himself at the end of the time the one who is they are waiting for you in the kingdom of God those are your family nobody else Khalil Gibran is a, is a, is not really a good person Khalil Gibran is a eh, you know it's kind of is a he, he's a form of a supernatural person he's not even a believer but you know, people they like uh, poetry, and you know, like uh, if you are good in playing with words, they you know they take it blindly. But sometimes people they can post poison between their kind words or or beautiful poetry, let us say. Be careful. <laughs> 